Hey champion, it's your high performance coach here and in this episode, the very first episode of the Level Up series, I'll be speaking with Jenny Jacob who is the CEO and founder of Full Potential Partner and she's going to be speaking about the ultimate goal. The Greeks usually like to say this is eudaimonia and this is the ultimate form of achievement and she's going to share with you why is it important for us as leaders to know what the ultimate goal is. I'd really love to know what your opinion is in the comment section. So just take a quick listen and tell me what you think. Enjoy. This is Dina Delplesh, your high performance coach, and it's time to level up. That's a love and respect champion. Now, today is another episode of Level Up with Dino. And today we have leveling up with us is the mighty Janine Jakob. Okay, I also like to think of her as the positive intelligent queen or mental fitness champion. And today we are going to have a really amazing discussion with her around high performance and how mental fitness play a vital role in becoming a higher performing leader and just to share with you a bit about who Jenny Jacob is for those of you who don't know Jenny Jacob is a high performance coach and an interculture consultant and she's from the beautiful country of Germany for those of you who like the German beer, beers and the bread you know how that is I don't. and she's also <laughs> and she's also <laughs> the founder of the full potential partners Shanghai after seven years of work, work, work experience at a global Fortune 500 IT company, HP, otherwise known as Hewlett Packard, she also found the Happiness Association Bye Bye Borders in, Shanghai, in, in Suzhou. In parallel, she studied a Dublin master's degree in international business at the Germany Munich Business School and French SKEM, a business school in Suzhou. And Janine has lived, studied, and worked in France, the USA, Finland and China and she is a very passionate founder of an event hosting for several network organizations such as Girl Gone International Sujo, SheBridge Intercultural Relationship and the Internation Sujo and she has a community of over 3,000 people online in her Monday Morning Motivation China where there's these live webinars every Monday in English and also there's a Wednesday morning for our Chinese audience, which is packed with motivation and packed with the energy that you need to really shop as your best. So I just want to welcome you, Jenny, into the Level Up show. And I'm really honored to have you here. And how, how are you doing this morning? Uh, listening to you saying these things, you make it <laughs> sound so awesome. So now I feel like I'm fully pumped up. With, <laughs> wow, how awesome that person must be like. Thanks for that. <laughs> Come on, you know, you know, you deserve it. You know, you deserve it. But let, let me let me just start with this question. You know, as leaders, we sometimes know that the ultimate achievement is, you know, that feeling of happiness and joy. But what I'm really curious about, what are some of the practical things that you do as a leader to make sure that, you know, you are cultivating this happiness within you? You just mentioned the ultimate goal is happiness. It's interesting <laughs> you said this. This is what people think, right? Mm. But research really found out it's not first success in making money and then the ultimate goal is happiness. No, it's the other way around, basically. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. as you just mentioned, in the here and now, happiness is a choice. We mm. need to, like 40% of our happiness actually comes from um, activities and the relationships. So really like um, think about um, like who do you surround yourself with? Are you only surrounded with negative people in your workplace, in your private life? Or do you want to be surrounded by people who are happy, positive, especially, for example, now in lockdown times, who are not only dragging you down, but lifting you yeah. up when you're already insecure and, un and going through these uncertain times. Um, so this is relationships. And number two are activities. So um, for now, when you have hired the right people and make sure that they also like fit to the mm. values that you have in your company. Um, now, how can you engage them more? And I know here in China, people often say, oh, we have team building events, meaning let's take our staff out for dinner. 
But no, guys, there's so much more that you can do. Like you can integrate in your um, company culture things like a random act of kindness. Mm. This could be some company do this once per month, or you can just do this anytime. Hey, Dino, I like you <laughs> like to get up early in the morning to do sports. So maybe I surprise you and suddenly I go running with you or I give you a cup of tea. <laughs> that would be awesome. I that would be awesome. So <laughs> and I surprise you. That's a random yeah, act yeah. of kindness. It doesn't yeah. have to cost money. But then yeah, there's powerful. also like gratitude, compassion, and um, mindfulness are keys to happiness. How can you maybe include a mindfulness activities in your workplace? Maybe mindful eating or mm. like mindful exercises. Yes, I know people always talk about yoga. Come on guys. Yes, yoga is great, mm. but there's so much other things that you can do like in an IT company or with engineers. Maybe they don't want to do yoga. Come up with other ideas, how yeah. you can integrate mindfulness in drinking, in mm. eating, in mindful conversations like now i'm not checking my two phones at the same time while having this conversation with dino no i'm mindfully focused on you and wanting to talk to you and being compassionate with like as leader for example mm. how can i be compassionate and have a compassionate or empathetic leadership style i'm actually going to give um a um a training on that for a big um, chemical company very, very mm. soon. Amazing. So yeah, no matter if you're a man, a woman, what nationality you are, uh, don't make excuses. Like everybody can <laughs> integrate these tiny little things yeah. and it doesn't even have to cost you much. Mm. No, not at all. To integrate this and to have a big outcome for your staff, for yourself, and you will, <laughs> you will be able to even measure it in your KPIs. No. Blessed, if you have made it to the end of the first episode, I want to say congratulations. And I'd love to hear what you think about what Jenin shared. What are your thoughts and opinion about you know, happiness being the ultimate goal? And in our next episode, join me as I speak with Alicia Lee As, the CEO and founder of the Soul Well Wellness Center here in Shanghai, where she'll gonna, she's going to share with you what is the ultimate question that we all need to know the answer to. And if you have the answer to this question, you have already solved 80% of your problems. So stay tuned and let's level up. Blessed love and respect champion. Now this is your high performance coach here and I wanna thank you for showing up today. Not for me, but showing up for yourself because every episode of this show is designed to help you get one step closer in the direction of becoming an even higher performing leader. Living in and from your fullest potential in whatever you do for those you love and for those that you serve. And we are here to help you every step of the way. Now, if you're listening to this show, I believe it's because you are ready to take your performance to another level. And that is why I've created this show as a program in my high performance leader coaching ecosystem. To help you master these high performance habits with accountability, structure and guidance from me as your coach. And it is free for you today as my listener. Join my high performance leader coaching ecosystem right now. Go to levelupwithdino.com. Again, go to levelupwithdino.com. And Dino is spelled D E A N O. And if you're listening to this in China, or you're watching an episode on YouTube, just click the link in the description below. And remember, it is time for you to level up.